Hello everyone, this is Olivia Grace. I'm back with another video for you guys. And today we're talking about three ways that you are preventing your manifestation from coming to you. And I'll have some tips on what you can do to get out of your own way when it comes to letting in your blessings, okay? Um, I am a manifestation coach. I help women break through their perceived glass ceiling and achieve their next level in life, love, and or business. So I'm still accepting applications. My group program is just about full, but I have uh, just one more spot left. So if you're interested, then I will have a link in the description for you to apply. Um, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that can really prevent your manifestation from coming to you is that you're obsessing about it. And when it comes to manifestation, the law of attraction, you know, we're always taught to think about your desire in a positive way, do affirmations, do visualizations, you know, all these things that basically are to target your desire and make it just make you kind of feel better about it or change your beliefs around it. But a lot of the time, like if you're broke and you're trying to I don't know, get rent for tomorrow and you're affirming, I'm a millionaire, I'm so rich, money comes to me easily and effortlessly, then that might not resonate with you. And when it doesn't resonate with you, it's not, like not to say it doesn't help because repetition does kind of get into your subconscious mind. Um, but every time that you are picking up that stick, that's what Abraham Hicks calls it, but every time you pick up that subject or that topic, you your vibration around it is still active. So every time you sit down to affirm or visualize or do something and basically like your vibration of noticing that it's not here, noticing that it's still more that you have to do to get it, just noticing the absence of it and that obsession, you may think that you may feel like you're obsessing over the improvement, but your vibration is still stuck in the problem. Um, so every time you pick up that topic, trying to fix it you're actually kind of hurting yourself and can be blocking your blessing because you're basically just feeling those old feelings. Even if you're saying something different, you're trying to get yourself to think something different, but inside your yourself is still feeling and vibrating in the problem of that, in the we're doing this thing so that we can fix this thing that's not right. So it kind of perpetuates that. And if you've been actively trying to manifest something for a very long time, then this makes sense because it's like, why am I trying so hard? I'm doing all this, trying to get my vibe to change in the opposite direction. But it's because every time you sit down to change your vibe, your vibe that is still activated is still activated. And it is the one that's manifesting because it's the dominant vibration. Um, so, and the way to fix that, I guess I can just say how to fix that, um, how to fix each thing after. Um, but the way to fix that is to really obviously just stop obsessing over it um, and just let it go. You know, it just it may seem like it seems like to us as humans that the thing that deserves our attention the most are the things that are going wrong in life. Um, those are the things that we need to give all of our attention to and try and fix and try and manifest. But truthfully, our vibration suffers during that when you're focusing on what you don't have, what's going wrong. And here's the thing, you guys, there's always going to be something. There will always be something going wrong. There will always be something that can improve. So if your focus is always on what's missing, then you're always going to kind of be in a vibration of things are not right. I have to fix something. Something needs to change. And even when you do manifest all the blessings that you currently want, there will be another set of things that you want. So if you're so focused on what's not here yet, you won't be enjoying the blessings that you've manifested. I'm sure you've manifested blessings up to this point, but you're not even worried about them. You're thinking about what's coming next. Um, so really just kind of letting go of what is not working. Um, and I'll let that bring that to, to my next point, which is accepting the doneness. This is something else that can be blocking your blessing, not accepting the doneness. A lot of the time, you know, we look in our reality and we don't see the change that we want to see or we feel like things aren't happening fast enough or, you know, what we see opposite results. So we assume we make an assumption that, well, it must not be working. Things must not be going right for me. Um, you know, I must have done something wrong. I must need to try another technique. And so when you're in that space of I did something wrong, it's not working out, basically. That feeling of it's not working out for me. 
it can't work out for you because you're vibrating like it's not working out for me. Your thoughts, your everything, your mental conversations, everything is pointing towards it's not working out for me. So of course it's not going to work out for you because that's what you're creating. Um, and so again, like I was saying with obsessing, you know, you have to find a way to let it go and to relax and accept that it's done. It doesn't matter what you see. It doesn't matter what it looks like to you because your perspective is very limited. You know, the perspective of the universe, the perspective of the uh, universal force that is working things out for us is way beyond our understanding. Um, so you kind of kick yourself or hit yourself in the foot or shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> you shoot yourself in the foot when you decide that, oh, things don't look how I think they should look by now, so it must not be working. And you, you kind of put yourself back at square one when really you're at square five and the bridge of defense is unfolding. Um, even like, it's so funny guys, because I realized that going through really tough things, going through, you know, when it seems like everything is just going against you and nothing's going right, out of those moments, you become more tuned in. If you're, if you use it like that, if you, through your problems, guys, you take that as an opportunity to look and say, what is that telling me about me? How can I improve myself so that this doesn't happen again? How can I improve my beliefs, my thoughts? So what is this telling me about myself? And does that resonate with the self that I'm creating? You know, then you really grow through your problems. Your problems end up birthing a new, more advanced version of you. Um, but you have to be able to relax and know that it's already done no matter what. Um, so the next thing and the last thing is the subconscious beliefs. These are the things that we're not really aware of, but um, and that's why they can kind of block you. But how you can recognize subconscious beliefs first of all i really recommend coaching for you guys uh whether it's with me or with another coach i notice that when i'm talking with my clients just having that outside perspective of a professional that professionally listens to people and helps people solve their problems helps people identify their problems it's much easier for me to see a pattern with them than it is for them to see a pattern because they're in it you know, they're just living it. They're just like, this is just what life is, you know, but as a coach, someone else that's outside listening in, I can hear, oh, okay, this thing, you feeling this way, you feeling inadequate is something that comes up in all of these different situations. It's coming up in your relationships. It's coming up in your money. It's coming up in your career. That inadequacy, if we can fix that, then all those other things will kind of fix themselves. Um, the other thing is, like I just mentioned briefly, to recognize patterns in your life, you guys. Subconscious beliefs are formed when we're very young. And again, they're subconscious, which means they're underneath the consciousness. Like our conscious brain is what is watching this video. It's having thoughts. What am I gonna eat? Am I about to go to sleep? You know, uh, whatever, what am I gonna do tomorrow? Who, who was I talking to today? Your conscious mind are the thoughts that you're aware of. Your subconscious minds are the things that you are not aware of, but they're back, like, again, with that example I just said about the inadequacy, you're probably not waking up and affirming to yourself, I'm so inadequate, I'm not good enough, I don't deserve anything. Nobody talks to themselves like that, but you can see in, wow, you know, when I'm working, um, when in my business, I don't, I don't ever get paid the amount that I deserve. You know, uh, when it comes to relationships, I don't ever get the love or the attention that I want or deserve. Uh, when it comes to uh, my career, you know, I, I feel the imposter syndrome and I kind of sabotage myself. Then you can kind of see in all those things is a feeling of inadequacy, of not being good enough, of not being enough. Um, and then when you when you kind of fix that root problem it fixes all these surface problems that are stemming from that, okay? Um, so that's really what I have for you guys. It's not too long today. Um, and yeah, all of these things are things that could be blocking your manifestation. I encourage you to look into them and just see, um, am I obsessing? You know, am I not accepting that it's done? Do I still think that there's more that I have to do? Um, am I maybe having a pattern that I'm not recognizing? Is there something, a subconscious belief that I can fix that will help me fix these problems in my life, okay? Um, as usual, guys, if you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends if you think it will help. And I would love for you guys to be in my uh, Facebook group community. I'll have a link for that in the description as well. 
other than that you guys have an amazing day today and i will talk to you guys in the next video